Hello everyone and welcome to the first Very Freddy Vlogmas. I have been looking forward to these Christmas vlogs literally all year. I watch back my ones from last year all the time when I need like a little boost, a little pick me up. They were just so magical and I'm looking forward to bringing that magic of Christmas in London and maybe some other destinations too to you again this year. So as today is officially the first day of my Christmas season, it is of course the day that I'm going to get my tree. I'm very excited, I love getting the Christmas tree so my dad is about to pick me up because we obviously need his car because I'll be going for the most gigantic tree I can find of course. So here is the super cosy outfit of the day. I'm wearing this absolutely adorable little jumper dress from H&M. Um, I just really liked the sleeves on it, they're kind of a bit like balloony and it's very cosy and cute. And then over the top, as you can see, I have this absolutely magnificent sleeveless jacket in the most beautiful, soft, like fleecy, kind of like dressing gown material. Like it's honestly gorgeous. This is from Caramillan. I actually had one similar to this from Caramillan I think last year or two years ago and my mum loved it so much that I ended up just letting her have it because she was obsessed with it but I have really been missing it especially as the weather has gotten a little frostier recently and it's just the perfect thing to throw over any cute outfit you know how sometimes like a coat just ruins the whole look this just like never ruins the look it just adds to it because you can still see your sleeves it just looks really really stylish I also just love how long it is as well it literally goes down to the mid shin because I'm wearing a jumper dress with no tights and over the knee boots but this will keep me really cozy and I just love it it feels like wearing a dressing gown outside and it's super super cozy like honestly the softest thing ever so I'm very happy to have this back I just think it looks so cool very stylish very fun I feel like this is the perfect going to get a Christmas tree look I'm wearing my over the knee boots from Stuart Weitzman my little coach bag Burberry scarf to accessorize and my brown velvet headband. So yeah, this is the outfit of the day. I absolutely love it. It's just so warm and cozy, but super cute and stylish as well. And I'm so excited to go and get the tree. Big. It's suitably gigantic. <laughs> suitably stressful for you, Daddy. Yeah. It might actually be too big. Damn. Shall we head elsewhere? Yeah. I feel like this is the most promising so far. This is where I got my tree last time. Oh my god, I can't even go through the machine. <laughs> Trust me. Yay! <laughs> well, this should be interesting. This is <laughs> very interesting indeed. guys I'm actually dying the tree is so heavy and me and my dad just got it up into the flat and I don't know how I honestly feel like I'm gonna collapse even the men at the Christmas tree place were like we don't think you should take this one it's too heavy you're never gonna get this upstairs and we were like we will we can do it if only JJ was here he could have helped but he's not here today and um, he's coming tomorrow to help me decorate because I think you can't actually decorate the tree on the same day that you get it because you need to just like let it drop and also it's wet because it's been raining um like this morning and yesterday so we have to like let the tree dry before we can decorate it so we'll do that tomorrow but for now let's try and get this tree up Cinderella, what's going on? <gasps> Is it your first Christmas tree? It's the most, the most incredible tree I've ever seen in my life. It literally looks like it, it we came, brought it out of a forest, but it's too big. <laughs> And my dad kept on saying this is bigger than last year's and I was like, no, it's not. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah, it's definitely bigger and my table no longer fits in the lounge. So unlike last year, it looks like oh, I might have to do a bit of furniture rearranging and maybe switch my table to the other side of the room. Good morning, guys. It is tree decorating day today. The smell of that Christmas tree is absolutely amazing. So basically we did end up having to rearrange the lounge furniture to make it fit, confirming that it is indeed probably around 
twice the size of my tree last year i think i was just like blind i was like it's not that big daddy i'm sure it's not that big and he was like it's massive so i'll show you the new setup of the lounge i kind of like it it's growing on me so guys here is the flat after a little rearrange so i pulled my table from the far end of the lounge um over by the window which i actually kind of like um it's a little bit of a mess um, and then I put my chaise over here, um, which I wasn't sure on at first, but now I'm kind of getting a bit more used to it. Look at this tree. I feel like you can see it much better in today's light. It is gigantic. It's literally like we plucked it from an actual forest. Cinderella's been getting used to it. She's just guarding it at the moment, aren't you, Cindy? It's such a nice day today, and look how pretty the trees are outside my flat. They're absolutely gigantic. So my car is literally like camouflaged because the leaves are falling um but i'm making the most of it because soon it's gonna be all bare um but it's such a lovely day today i had to move my big mirror out of my lounge when i did the rearranging but this is good because now i can show you guys a full outfit of the day so as you can see i'm wearing the most gorgeous cashmere um it's like a hoodie and jogger set from Karen Millen. The colour is so, so pretty. I love the soft pink and it really is the softest thing in the world. I love how with cashmere you get that warmth and coziness without like the bulkiness of big knits and like chunky thick fabric. It's so thin and lightweight but it's so, so cozy and so soft and I just love the fit. I got the hoodie in an extra small and then the matching bottoms, I got these in a size small and the fit is so nice. Like I love just a high waist bottom that are really kind of like a nice loose fit but cuff really nice and tightly in at your ankle. I think that's the most like flattering, comfortable shape. Oh my gosh, it's just the comfiest, coziest, softest, most gorgeous thing I've ever tried on and I could actually live in this. Let's be honest, this winter I probably will live in this, so I'll link it down below for you guys at Karen Millen if you'd like to get it. I can just see myself wearing this a lot on those indoor days in winter where you want to be cosy and lovely but still look and feel cute. This is so perfect. So this is my tree decorating outfit for the day. Oh, and I forgot to say that these socks are also from Karen Millen. They're a cashmere blend and they are so nice and cosy too. JJ's here and guys, he brought the goods. He brought the goods. If you guys have never tried these, you can get them from Aldi or Lidl and they are the best things you will ever, ever, ever taste. And this is just what I need to get me in the Christmas mood. <laughs> the decoration boxes are out. These boxes are so heavy and really not convenient at all. But just over the last few years, Pandora have sent like Christmas gifting in these incredible trunks. And I just couldn't get rid of them because they're wood and they're so pretty. I've actually split this one a bit. So I've got baubles and all bits and bobs in here. Cinderella is going to be so interested in everything we're doing today because she's never seen any of this before. Look, Cindy, micey. Mice. <gasps> Mice. It's a mouse, yeah. It's the mouse king. More hanging decorations in these boxes underneath and then I think in here I keep all my lights. They cannot be all my lights. Are they my Christmas lights? I can't remember, this all feels like so long ago. In this one I've got my flowers which I kind of want to get more of this year. I need a little trip to HomeSense to see if they have more of these sparkly peonies. Um, and then I've got like my Father Christmas um, and all other bits and bobs, like my nutcrackers. And I think my pig is in here, yes. Oh my God, the flying pig, love this. In fact, I'm just going to unpack everything, put it on the floor, and then I'll show you guys my favorite decorations. I'm also on Disney Plus trying to find a Christmas film and I'm wondering whether it's too soon to watch my favourite Christmas movie of all time, which is A Christmas Carol. But the animated Jim Carrey version, I'm telling you, this is the best Christmas film ever. But I think I should save it for a bit further down the line. A bit closer to Christmas, I think, for this one. Love Actually. We've seen it a million times. Yeah, because it's good. And we're bound to watch it properly, like, in the Christmas Paddington season. 2. No chance. Paddington 1. Maybe. No, just oh, <laughs> no, no, go no. on. Fine, do you know what? Just put it on. It's fine. <laughs> he comes from deepest, darkest Peru. <laughs> <laughs> So I think we've just decided to put Harry Potter on because you could never go wrong with Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter. 
<laughs> so we've seen... Oh, now we're going to argue about which Harry Potter to watch. Well, I just feel like we've seen one loads of times last Christmas. Mm. Chamber of Secrets, we've seen enough. It's not very Christmassy. I feel like they start to get Christmassy around five. No, probably... Should we go for five? No, hang or on. Or six? We've done Prisoner of Azkaban as well recently, haven't we? Yeah. With Wormtail and stuff. Should we do Goblet of Fire? <sighs> Yeah, go on then. Oh my gosh, I've laid out all my decorations and they're so, so pretty. Although they look absolutely insignificant compared to this gigantic tree. I feel like it's gonna look a little bit bare, which is a perfect excuse to go to HomeSense and pick out some more decorations. Um, because yeah, I think it's gonna look a little bit sparse, but I'll show you what I've got. I've got these beautiful baubles. Obviously the theme of the tree is pink and gold. Um, I've got these little white roses that just clip on to the branches, my lovely birds, I've got a few birds actually, um, some beads, these little houses which I love, they light up, they've got batteries inside, I've got my macaron, my little hair, I love this hair, it's really expensive but it's so pretty, my nutcracker, my ballet dancer, this is actually one from home that I pinched, so you know like when Christmas decorations are very nostalgic, this one's very nostalgic for me, my granny got me this last year, and I absolutely love it, but I obviously don't like the red ribbon. So I think I've actually got some pink ribbon and I'm gonna try and switch it today because the red kind of kills the vibe. This one was actually a gift from Swarovski in 2020. It's one of their crystal snowflakes, which is absolutely stunning. I've got some gold glittery snowflakes, my swan, and this, I can't remember where I got this, but it's a really pretty um, gold glittery Eiffel Tower. And then here are all my decorations that just kind of go on surfaces around the flat. So I've got my gold Father Christmas, a couple of nutcrackers, my beautiful swan that I actually got for Christmas last year. Um, my pig, actually the pig goes on the tree. My gingerbread rocking horse, which I love. My, there was an old woman who lived in a shoe ornament which also lights up. And of course, my favorite, the mouse king and queen. My mum has come to assist with the- Assist? <laughs> How dare you? I assist. <laughs> she is the visual merchandise expert, aren't you? Yes, The I display am. expert, although she's only allowed to be seen from the back today, apparently. She wasn't, she didn't come camera ready. <laughs> music to accompany this dramatic feat that you're attempting. You didn't do it! Yay! Guys, the tree is decorated, the whole lounge is looking super festive, but I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow when it's daylight because the camera just goes a bit bad in the dark. Um, but we're actually all going to see Matilda at the cinema now, literally the whole family. We're heading off now, so I thought I'd just show you what I'm wearing. I've swapped out the um, caramel and hoodie just for my Aritzia jumper because I just felt like a bit, like I didn't want to go out in a matching tracksuit, you know, but I'm still wearing the bottoms because I like to go comfy vibes at the cinema. Um, and I've just thrown over my caramel and gilet sleeveless jacket to be super duper cozy, my D&G bag and my trusty little Ugg boots. I feel like I really need to get new ones of these this year because these have been going for like six years and they're starting to look a little bit like not fresh anymore. 
but yes this is my cozy little cinema fit am i too old to say fit sorry outfit um and i'm so excited to see matilda coco's friend is actually in it she's called misha and she plays the girl with the red berry who everyone is going mental about on tiktok the one who's like we can sp i'll help me if i can she goes um because we're a little bit naughty like literally we're all obsessed with her we can't wait to see the film and i will check in with you guys tomorrow good morning everyone here is the tree i wanted to show you guys in the daylight because the camera quality is just so much better but i'm so pleased with how it turned out i think it looks so beautiful it's a little bit chaotic but it's very me i feel like you could just look at this tree and you would know that it was my tree. I think I do need to like sort the draping of the beading out a little bit because it does look <laughs> a bit chaotic, but I really love it. And I don't think it looks too underdone. Like I don't actually think I need to go and buy out like a whole bunch of new decorations. Um, if I see any that I like, then I'll buy them. But I kind of think it looks okay. I don't want to overdo it. And I'll just pop the lights on now so you can see. So here it is with the lights on. It looks so pretty and so happy. And I love how big it is. And I'm actually like really getting used to the layout of the room like this as well. I've got some of my beauty advent calendars under the tree. I actually quite like the table being over here in the sun as well. It's really nice like having breakfast at the table in the morning because on the other side of the room it's always in like total darkness in the morning. So yeah, I'm kind of liking the layout or maybe even when we get rid of the tree after Christmas I might leave it like this for a bit. Oh my goodness guys, I just got the biggest delivery. <laughs> as a surprise from Elan Cafe. You guys know how much I love Elan Cafe. I go there all the time, hoping to go at some point um, this festive season as well. And they've sent me two humongous bags. I'm dying to know what's in this box. And then there's a bunch of goodies in this bag as well. So I'm going to unbox it all and show you guys what's inside. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't actually believe this. I. I'm so, I've been so spoiled by Elan Cafe. I'm so grateful. I'm really not feeling well today. This has totally cheered me up. All of these amazing festive goodies. I've got the um, salted caramel truffle oven calendar, which is the cutest thing in the entire world. They sent me their chocolate melting spoon for hot chocolates, which will be delicious. A couple of their baubles. Oh my gosh, look at this one. It's London and it's pink. It will go so nicely on my tree. They sent me a bag of their grass ground coffee. They sent me this really cute little tumbler with a straw, which is absolutely adorable. Oh my gosh. This absolutely beautiful candle, which smells amazing. It's rose, but it's a really like delicate soft rose. It's not like overpowering or anything. So, so pretty. And I love the color and probably the best bit are these two Christmas mugs, which are the cutest things ever. I've got this little one, which is the Christmas tree. And let's see what's inside this one. It's pink. Oh my gosh. Stop, look, that is the cutest thing I've actually ever seen. That is actually the cutest thing ever. I might buy some of these to gift because that is so pretty. Isn't it Cindy? And then they just sent me some extra goodies like a couple of um, Charlotte Tilbury sets, which is so generous and this really adorable little Boo Avenue um, eye mask and scrunchie that is honestly, it's so kind and I haven't even opened the big box yet. Are you ready guys? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You have got to be kidding me. Oh, it's pink. No, Cindy, stop eating it. Cindy loves cake and she loves icing. That, Cinderella, stop it. Cinderella, stop it. That is the most beautiful, beautiful cake I've ever seen. Are you actually seeing this? Cindy, stop it. Oh my God. I could actually cry. It's so beautiful and that is so generous of Elan. Wow, I didn't even know they did like big cakes like these. I would definitely commission one of these for an occasion. Um, how gorgeous is the tree? Oh my gosh. So I've been getting on with some work this morning, but later on, JJ and I are going to have a very lovely festive afternoon slash evening. Tonight's actually the launch of the Somerset House ice skating rink. And this is the second or third year, I think, that it's been sponsored by Moet. And it's honestly one of my favorite like events in the calendar of the whole year. And for me, it kind of like kicks off the festive season. It's such a lovely event. So we're gonna pop over to that. And then it's also the press night of Elf the Musical, which I'm like, I'm excited for because it's gonna get us into the festive vibes. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna love Elf the Musical, but we'll see. I'm sure it's gonna be a big, big spectacle. And of course, for ice skating, I'm going to be wearing my Flossy by Freddie Cornelia set. This is a piece that I designed, which was inspired by Blair Waldorf's ice skating outfit, which is an outfit that I've wanted literally my entire life, that I've never been able to properly replicate. So I wanted to design my own version that we could all wear. And honestly, this is even better than Blair's. Like, 
it's actually so much nicer. Look at the details, we've got these beautiful buttons with the chain, the pink satin lining. Oh my god, it's just stunning, and this incredible pearl buckle. Um, so I'll pop it on for you guys now so you can see. Oh my gosh, guys, I just love this set so much. It makes me so happy. It's like my dream come true. It's so beautiful. Um, and this will actually be the perfect temperature to skate in because I get kind of warm when skating. But I think for the rest of the day and the evening, I'm going to take another coat to go over the top of this. And I'm also taking a change of outfit for Elf as well because I want to be a little bit more dressed up. You might be a little surprised to see this, but this is the dress I'm going to wear for Elf tonight. Um, it is black velvet, but I just couldn't get over the beautiful top half with all of this pearl beading. It's so pretty and so festive. I just got this from And Other Stories. It's part of their new collection and I just think it's so stunning. So I'm gonna wear this probably with like some black sheer tights um, and heels and then whichever coat that I'm wearing um, today. So for skating, I'm gonna swap out my headband for a beret and then probably pop my headband back on for Elf. Honestly, headbands and berets are the best when you're growing out a fringe, um, which is why I'm wearing like an abundance of headbands and hats at the moment because I am growing out my fringe. It's just a bit of an awkward process to tell you the truth. Um, but I was thinking like for all of my styling for this outfit so far, I've been wearing a pink beret. I'm kind of feeling tonight maybe wearing a dark brown one kind of feel like that will look quite nice like with the dark brown tights as well kind of like tight all together um just pop on some gloves a nice cozy coat and I feel like I should be good for the day and of course I've got my gorgeous ice skates I am so obsessed with these honestly so happy that I got these for Christmas like however many years ago now everyone laughed at me and they were like you'll never wear them I wear them all the time especially at this time of year like when all the ice rinks pop up and I love it especially for events like tonight like it's just so much fun <laughs>
Hi everyone, oh my gosh, I don't actually know, I can't remember the last time that I vlogged for this video and I just feel so bad that I haven't been able to produce the Christmas content that I really wanted to this year because I loved doing it last year so much and I was really looking forward to it. But as you probably know from my Instagram if you follow me or you can hear my voice right now, I have had an awful flu, today is my 10th day being ill and I'm starting to feel like a little better today but um, I think I've set myself like my recovery back a couple of times over the past 10 days I felt like I felt better and so I've gone out and I've like pushed myself to go out and do things and then it just felt like even worse by the time I got home so I think like I may have recovered quicker if I'd have just stayed in bed the whole time and I just feel really bad that I haven't been able to like really go for it on the Christmas content because I've just been ill and in bed and I've been feeling so depressed and miserable about it like it really should be out filming like the pretty London lights um like I did last year but I just haven't been able to and I'm so sorry but I'm hoping to be able to pick it up again um once I feel better I'm actually supposed to be going to Paris tonight um for a long weekend with my two best friends who actually live there but I've actually changed my train to tomorrow night because I just don't quite feel up to it and I just think I need one more day resting at home and staying warm today and then hopefully tomorrow I'll feel better and I just feel like two nights with them in Paris is better than none at all so um, I think that will be in the next vlog and um, if I do end up going fingers crossed I feel better tomorrow guys because I haven't been to Paris for three years and I think the last time I was in Paris at like Christmas time was five years ago so I was really excited and obviously to see my friends as well so I really hope that you did enjoy this vlog anyway Way, um, even though it wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be and I'm going to try my very best to get a few more Christmassy vlogs out before the end of the year um, but thank you guys so so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all very soon. Bye!